Well, well, end time watchman, uh, back with you tonight. Uh, wanted to run something by you for a minute. <clears throat> wanted to, uh, talk with you about, uh, the Ten Commandments of God versus the commandments of the government. Wanted to lay a foundation, just let you know, uh, what God says in His Word about you according to what the government says in their word about you and you'll have to decide for yourself what's right and what's wrong anyway same time watchman <clears throat> i mean are we the property of the state or are we free souls under god that's the question you got to ask yourself are you the property of the state or are you free souls under god Did, is there a creator that made you that formed you in your mother's womb and uh, uh already predetermined in his word for you ever born what he commanded you to do uh, versus what the government and what the state says that you must do under them versus what God says, okay? Just bear with me a minute. Remember, it's been said all men are created equal. They're endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights, unalienable rights. What are those? Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, right? Okay, watch this. To understand to what extent the government's authority has grown, we must first look at the origin of it. Okay? The origin of thing begins by intent, default, or accident. The later of these three is not really a valid source because to the sensible man, there's no such thing as chance. In other words, <clears throat> to a sensible person, there's no such thing as it happened by chance, okay? I believe there is a purpose and an intent behind everything that takes place. What do you mean, in time? Well, <clears throat> you know, let me just go to the commandments for a minute. Let's just go over one at a time, okay? Let's just go over it, and uh, I'll try to keep this short. Yeah, right, I heard you. I heard what you said, but that's all right. Like in time's gonna do a short video and ain't gonna be but one video long, I understand. The commandments of God goes as follows. You shall have no other gods before me. Okay? Now, set the old Bible down right there a minute. God says he's the only God. Any other gods are false gods. You should not, shall not, and better not worship any other any other God besides the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And if you don't agree with this, change the dial, move on down the road. I don't I don't worry about it. I don't care about it. I don't care to argue with you through comments, personal emails. You can send me a friggin' YouTube video. You can send me books. I'm not gonna listen to you. I know what the Word of God says. That's what I base my life on and my beliefs on. So let's move on. No other gods. Okay. So now, if God says that he should be worshipped in him alone, if you're worshipping and bowing down to, let's just say, Wall Street, stocks, bankers, politicians, husbands, wives, children, material things, all it, you see what I'm getting at. I mean, you have to make a conscious decision to realize that I'm going to stick with God so I can see this thing through and I can come out the other side of it a winner. Whether I live or die, I'm still winning. Okay? Let's go on to the next one. You shall not make for yourself any graven image, any likeness, anything. Watch this. It's going to piss some folks off here because nobody thinks the Ten Commandments matter anymore. Don't make a graven image to any what to what things? To anything in the heavens or anything in the earth that's beneath, that's the water, or 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 or, or any other things, you shall not bow down to them, serve them. For I the Lord your God am a jealous God, visiting nickel the fathers on the third and fourth generations. Even to those that hate me, but showing mercy to thousands and upon thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. So wait a minute now. We're not supposed to worship Bibles. Okay. End time's gonna get him a little drink of this uh good old ice water. 
Can I say something to you? You know the Washington Monument? You know what it is? Do you know what it is? It's a sex obelisk that was back in the days of Egypt. And it's the tallest thing around Washington. Matter of fact, nothing else can be built in Washington any taller than that. That pointed object is a obelisk, a sex obelisk. It is of the devil. Millions upon millions go over there every year to go up in it and worship it. Don't misunderstand me, Patriot, what I'm finna say. Okay? The Statue of Liberty is a brass statue, brass and copper statue sent from France by the Illuminati, brought over here, given to America, and tons and tons and tons of people worship it. A friggin' copper statue don't help me when it comes to serving God or serving the country God put me in, okay? Let me get it clear. Thou shalt have no other gods before me, saith God, okay? Do you understand what End Time Watchman is trying to tell you? Let me put it to you like this. If you've got something or somebody that takes the place of God Almighty God, they are an idol and you worship them. I don't care if it's a human being. I don't care if it's a picture. I don't care if it's a weapon you own. Whatever it may be. I don't care if it's the money that you make. I don't care if it's the government you serve. If they take preeminence over God, you have set them up as idols in your heart. In other words, you worship them over God. Can't argue what I'm telling you because I ain't shouting, I ain't screaming yet. I'm telling you a fact to the business. I'm telling you the truth. Now, you're not going to like this, a lot of you. But I wasn't put here on this earth for you to like me. I was put here on this earth for a certain amount of time to let you know the best of what I know from God's Word and what He's told me, what's right and what's wrong. Okay? So, I ain't asking you to like me. I'm just asking you to hear what I'm saying. Search it for yourself if you believe the Bible. Okay? And you got to ask yourself, how many churches uh, are in idol worship? Whether it be the Catholic, the Church of God, the Baptist, I don't care which denomination... How many of them are in idol worship? Because they have all these things. I, look, I've been to churches where they got a plaque representing this dude is dead and gone now. You know, in memory of so and so, this, that, that, that. Big friggin' deal. He's gone. Okay? What's the next generation gonna do? You're not supposed to worship that plaque when you walk down that walkway in the, in the, in the vestibule and he's here and he's here in a picture of this guy. For, they dead, man. They dead. What are they going to do to benefit you, which is nothing? And I'm just using an example. There are many out there to use. See? God said don't have any other gods except Him. But that ain't the case today in Washington, D.C. Don't you see? In time watchman, I'll be right back, part two.